What's going on everyone? In this video I want to talk a little bit about my tech and how I get things done during the day. So I'm going to talk about my workstation, my server, the software on my workstation, the software on my server, my editor, my workspace, my tools. I'm going to give you all the details on everything I use. I'll try to be as detailed as possible and I'll try not to leave anything out. The first is going to be my server. It's a Dell R620. It's a 1U server and this, this thing sort of underpins all of my infrastructure in my house. It's got a lot of horsepower. I'm running a dual socket Xeon E5 2790 octa-core, and that's eight cores, 16 with hyper-threading, so a total of 32 cores. It's got 192 gigabytes of RAM. The drive all the way to the left there, that's a 256 gigabyte Crucial SSD. I use that as my operating system drive. The next drive over is a two terabyte Western Digital SAS drive. I use that for temporary storage, drone footage, things like that. And then the two on the end is two one terabyte Crucial SSDs, and they're in RAID 1. I use that as my, my primary storage for my, my files that I just absolutely cannot lose. It's connected to my network with a bonded quad gigabit, which basically means that the system sees it as, as one network card, but it's actually four individual gigabit ports that hook up to my network. That basically means that I could have four gigabits of throughput, theoretically anyways. I have a lot of software on here too. I'm running CentOS 7.4. I have VirtualBox running about 12 different VMs of, of various Linux and Windows installs. I have Docker on here for times where I want to install software and have it not conflict with the current system. I have several versions of Node.js and Python, Apache, Nginx, MySQL, Elasticsearch, Redis, and all that. And then I run my own private Git server with uh, GitLab. And once a night, I mirror all my files to Google Cloud Coldline. Next piece of my tech is my huge workstation. I know some of you are probably thinking, really, engineer man, eight monitors? I'm just here to tell you two things. One, you got to have the right tools for the job, and you will always use more than you have. So, you know, I, I at one time had one, and then two, three, four, five, and then eight. And I'm, I'm pondering a, a fourth row. Uh, these are these are 27 inch 2K resolution monitors, and I use every square inch of all of them every day. My total screen real estate is 10,240 pixels wide by 5,760 pixels tall. The biggest benefit about having a system like this is you never have to worry about changing windows. All your stuff is always right there in front of you. So as far as the hardware, I'm running an Intel i7 6800K hex core CPU. I have 64 gigabytes of RAM. I have two PNY Quadro P1000 GPUs, each with four mini display ports apiece. I have a 256 gigabyte Crucial SSD. I have a sweet Amazon Basics wired keyboard because nobody has time for batteries. And I have a Logitech wired mouse B100, something like that. It's like eight bucks on Amazon and it's the best. I also have an Anchor USB power brick and a Google Home Mini. So on this computer, I'm running Xubuntu 16.04 with Numix. I'm running Google Chrome with Dark Theme. All the terminals is just plain old Xterm. And of course, I run Atom Editor. And on Atom Editor, I'm using several modules. I got Atom Beautify, Minimap, AutoClose, HTML, Color Picker, Line Diff Details. I have a ton of language whatever packages like Language Rust, Language Ruby, Language JS, things like that. And then tabs to space and teletype. So as far as what's on each monitor, so on monitor one I have like screenshot tool, color picker, sound mixer, discord, and then I also have uh, uh, Firefox on there for day job stuff. Second monitor is just general terminal windows. I'm, you know, I'm running web servers on there, running output from logs. I have tmux on there for all my long running processes and just, just whatever else I need random terminals for. On monitor three, that's all about databasing. So on the left half of monitor three, I have the actual you know console for the database, MySQL in this case. And on the right side, I have a tail of all the queries that get ran. So I can monitor those as I'm developing. Monitor four is just it's just entertainment. You know whether it's Netflix or Hulu, Amazon, Google Music, or whatever. You know you can I'm watching Ozark season two right now. Monitor five I use for like email, Slack, other communication and just general business type stuff. Monitor 6 is my primary development monitor. That's just for Atom. Monitor 7 is just Chrome. And then Monitor 8 is just Chrome console. 
you'll notice that a lot more is happening at the top than is at the bottom and that's because the eye naturally goes to the bottom and that's that's where all the primary work gets done so the top four is seen as more like support monitors in the cloud i do everything on google cloud platform and i'm host my vms there and i host all my files a vast majority of what i do is through google i have an android phone i use android messages i buy my domains through google domains host my stuff on google cloud platform i use google apps for business i use google drive I use Google Photos, I use Google everything. A lot of people ask me what kind of phone I have, and the answer is it's a OnePlus 6. For travel, I use a Dell XPS 13 9360, the 2017 version, which contains roughly the same software my workstation contains. I also have an old Mac Mini for the one day I get a wild hair and I want to do some iOS development, which is basically never these days. I don't think I've turned it on in four years. And just in case, I have a VM with Windows 10 on it, but I haven't used it in like six months. And that's really it. I can't think of anything else I use. There's a link in the description if you want to review these links. And if you have any questions for me, just let me know in the comments. Catch you next video.